Hi everyone, I'm Dami of T Exclusive Photor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And uh, guys, this is the first time you're hearing my voice. Okay, so get to hear more, you get to see more of me on the channel. So welcome once again. If you are a Sony subscriber, thank you. And if you are here to subscribe to the YouTube channel, you can click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. So now today's tutorial we're talking about basic bodies. I know if a lot of us know what a basic body is means. So, but the basic body we draft will be using a bust allocation. So, what does a bust allocation mean? When you are taking a measurement of an individual, you notice that when you take the front bust and the back bust, the front bust is always bigger than the back bust because of the bust, uh, the boobs are, are in the front. So. If you want to draft it using the bust allocation, we take into consideration how the body is so that when you are done drafting and you transfer it to your fabric and you sew the dress, it's going to fit perfectly. So now the bust allocation, we're going to do a little bit of calculation. So these are the measurements we need for uh, the drafting. So we need the back, okay, this is the measurements I'll be using now, the back of 17. The bust of 38, the under bust of 30 inches, waist of 30 inches, the shoulder to bust 11, shoulder to under bust 15 inches, shoulder to natural waist 18 inches, and nipple to nipple measurements. So for today, we'll just be drafting the front bodies and later we'll do the back arm bodies. So, like I said earlier, we are going to do a little bit of calculation. Now, let's get started. Now, when you want to do your bust, uh, bust allocation, we need to know what the front bust is and how the front, uh, back bust and what the back bust is. Now, the front bust, you can't do it literally on the client. You are unable to do it on the client. So, with using this calculation, you are going to know what the front and the back bust is. So, let's go ahead. So, this is the, you say the bust. The bust allocation. So now with the bust allocation now we want to get the front bust. So we want to get the front bust. The front bust equals to your total bust circumference divided by two plus one or one point five. Now the question is, when am I to use one and when am I to use 1.5? Now before you know what to use, when to use one and when to use 1.5, we are going to check out the difference in the bust and the under bust. Now so for this measurement I'm using now, the bust here is 38 and the under bust is 30. So now the difference here is 8. So now when you do the difference in your bust and your under bust and the difference is less than 5 inches, you are going to use 1. So let's say the difference is from 1 to 5, you are going to use 1. But when the difference in the bust and the under bust is more than 5, so let's say from 6 upward, you are going to use 1.5. So since for these measurements we are using now, the difference in the bust and the under bust is 8 inches, so we go ahead and use uh, 1.5. So our total bust for this one is 38 divided by 2 plus 1.5. So 38 divided by 2. 38 divided by 2 plus 1.5. If we use our calculator, 38 divided by 2 is going to give us 19 plus 1.5. That's going to give us 20.5. Now in our drafting of basic bodies, we are drafting half of the front bodies. So we are going to do this is the total bust, the front bust from your left side to your right side of the bust is 20.5. But since we are drafting half of it, we are going to divide it also into two, and this is going to give us 10.25. So this is our front bust. So let's do the calculation for the back bust also. So when we get to the back, we are not going to start the calculation all over again. So for the back bust now, it's going to be the total bust divided by two. 
minus 1 of 1.5 you know i've explained earlier when to use 1 and when to use 1.5 so now anything you use for the front if you use 1 for the front you are going to subtract that 1 from the back if you use 1.5 for the front you are going to subtract the 1.5 for the back so you don't subtract you don't have 1 to the front and subtract 1.5 for the back it's whatever you use for the front is what we're going to use for the back. So now these are our measurements now. We use 1.5. So we'll go ahead and subtract 1.5 for the measurement. So it's going to be 38 divided by 2 minus 1.5. So it's going to give us 19 minus 1.5, which is going to give us minus 1.5 is going to give us 17.5. We are drafting half of the back also. We divide the 17.5 by 2. We are going to get 8.75. So our front boss, let's say FB equals to 10.25 and the back equals to 8.75. By the time we add these two together and multiply it by 2, we must arrive at our total boss, which is 38. We add this together. We get your 19 times 2, we get 38. I hope we understand with this uh, allocation. So, with this allocation, now we are going to proceed into our drafting. So, we proceed with the drafting, we get a fresh track and paper to start uh, the drafting. Also, thank you for staying with us to this moment. If you are yet to subscribe, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on the notification bell to get more tutorials from this. So let's proceed with drafting of our bodies. You are going to use your marker or your pencil. You need your pattern, your straight ruler. I need your pattern master or you can your uh, French cup, any of the available ones that you have. So let's proceed with our drafting. Our back measurement here is 16. So let's draw the shoulder line. This is going to be the shoulder line. The back measurement is 16. That's 16 divided by 2. We get 8 inches because to draw the shoulder line. You draw the shoulder line then on the shoulder line you mark your shoulder measurements or back measurements which is eight inches you come down to get a straight line for the humble line you mark your eight inches you get come down a little bit then you connect the lines together like so then you let me align it to press the uh, mark up so that you do this uh, so you do this okay so once we do that the next we are going to do is we are going to draft our basic neckline our basic neckline is going to be three by three inches three wide necks and the depth also will be three inches then enjoy the core together like so so this is going to be our basic neckline so before we proceed with the hand molded so you are going to step down from the shoulder line we step down by one inch which is going to give us the shoulder slant like so we know that our shoulder is not straight so to have fitness on the shoulder area we have to draw the shoulder slant so draw the shoulder slant like so Okay, so once you do that now, you're going to determine, next you're going to determine the depth of the armhole. Now the depth of the armhole, I use the calculation, my shoulder divided by 2. So whatever my shoulder is divided by 2 is what I use for my shoulder, uh, my armhole depth. Now my shoulder here is 8 inches, like the water dividing by 2 is 8 inches. So I'm going to come here from shoulder slant here, I'm going to mark my 8 inches and extend the line a little bit so this is going to be my arm or chest line so once i do this now now the nipple to nipple i be seven inches then i'm going to divide my nipple to nipple since we are drafting half of the bodies we we'll divide into two, two that's 3.75 so i'm going to come to the center front 
mark 3.5 sorry 3.5 I'll come here again, mark 3.5 to get a straight line. So I'm going to mark it. Okay, then I'll connect the line together to get a perfect line. So this is my this is going to be my um nipple to nipple line so the next measurement i'll be drafting will be the shoulder to bust measurement shoulder to under bust and also the shoulder to waist measurement so i'm going to place my tape on the nipple to nipple line from the shoulder slant so the shoulder to weight bust is 11 to under bust is 15 to the waist is 18 so I'm going to drop that and I'll connect to a straight into a straight line. So I have this. So I have this. So this is going to be my bust line, my underbust, and my waist or half length so once we have those measurements now so for the bust line we are going to include the bust allocation measurements we did and for the front bust we got 10.25 so we're going to include our 10.25 10.25 so it comes to the waist and my waist is my other bust is 13 inches and 30 divided by 4, you get 7.5. Please, my 7.5. Also, my waist is 30 inches divided by 4, you get 7.5. This is my 7.5. So, now if I join these lines together, so if I connect this line together, this is what. I'm going to get. I'm looking at this now. This is not good. We can't use this to draft our body. We can't use it to cut out our fabric. So that is where we impute our dart. So now I'm going to go again. The 10.25 that I use for the post. 10.25. This is 7.5. This is 7.5. So it's 10.25. I'm going to come back and measure it here. 10.25. I'm also going to come to the waist area and measure my 10.25. Then I'll connect this together. Now, on my waist area, I have excess, and this excess now, the only way to eliminate it is if you take it out as that. So I'm going to measure whatever is there. That this is 7.25. I'm going to add to the, uh, divide it into two, then I'll bring it to the waist. So now I have 2.75, so I'll bring it to the waistline. So from this place now, I'll take out one inch and the remaining 1.75, I'm going to have it here. And my dart is going to stop half inch before the nipple line. So this is the nipple point. This is the nipple point. So my dart is going to stop half inch before the nipple point. Then I'm going to connect like so. So now let's try and measure our waist measurements now, skipping the dart. Let's see if we are going to get our accurate measurement. So I have 2.75 here. Now we jump to the other dart leg. Then I so by the time you measure this and skip the waist uh, the dart line you are going to you should be able to get your exact 7.5 so here we have 2.5 you skip it bring it to this other side then we have our 7.5 so when you are sewing it's either you sew this dart in or you cut it out when you are cut when you are sewing 
on your fabric. So at this point now, the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to draw our bust that now that we go about the bust that if you are measuring your clients, you notice that the front half length, the front shoulder to waist is always longer than the back shoulder to waist. When you want to do this, to be very sure of it, you can just tie a tape or elastic around your client's waist. Then you measure your shoulder to waist for the front. When you measure the back, you're going to see that the back is always shorter than the front. And this way of doing it, we are going to introduce the bust that to the front in order to make now if you okay my front here is 18 and my back is 16 so if i'm going to draft 18 for the front and i draft 16 for the back by the time i want to join this side together you notice that the side of the front is going to be longer than that of the back so in order to avoid that is when we are going to introduce our boss that so this boss that is going to take out the excess like the two inches different that is there from the side area so by the time you are joining the front and the back together it's going to be perfect and equal so the bust that is always on the bust line so it stops half inch before the nipple line also so this is my nipple line the dust will stop half inch so you are going to come here you measure your it's two inches so i can decide to measure it one inch here, one inch here. Now this bust that differs for an individual. So it's possibly better that you measure it on your client so as to be sure what the difference is. So you're going to draw your bust that like so. So let me highlight the dust with a black marker. So it's going to be our dart. So this is our waist dart and this is also our bust dart. The last thing we are going to do on this to perfect to finish these basic bodies is we are going to draw our armhole curve and in order to get a perfect curve so that there will be no excess on the armhole area by the time you join the sleeve to it so we are going to use this method now so this is what we are going to do we are going to measure whatever it's in your armhole depth so for this one now i use it as my armhole depth that should have divided by two i got eight so you are going to divide the eight into two that is four inches and then you step down by one inch your or your whatever you get i'm going divided by two so let's say um whole divided by two plus one so my hammer is eight divided by two i get four plus one that's five so i'll get five so now from this my shoulder slant now i'm going to my come down to one to five inches so on this five inches now i'm going to draw a straight line using my pencil to the center front i'm going to draw a straight line using the pencil to the straight line so on this line now you are going to get this is going to be our across front line so my rear your across front across front so this is going to be our across front line and you are going to come in from the armhole line by one for front you come in by one inch then you connect this point to this point back to this point using your pattern master or if you have your armhole curve you can also use it so you make sure you connect it in a perfect line so once you're able to get this now by the time you join it to a sleeve you are going to have a perfect cuff here and there will be no excess so, so this is just a way of eliminating the excess on the arm of area so i hope you get it to this point if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and expect more videos so with this now we are done with our front bodies so this is the center front and this is the side front so with this now you should be able to cut out and use it so now once you're able to draft out this one 
you be able to cut out on your fabric and you get a perfect fit for your dress. And also this draft, this body now, you should be able to manipulate this draft into anything you want. So this draft is just like the foundation, the beginning of your pattern draft. So with this draft now, you be able to manipulate it to any design of our choice. So we cut the back of that shirt. So this is let me leave the next part because we have to change it to another thing. So this is our front bodies. So now this front bodies is what we are going to be using in our manipulation we want to do pattern drafting and we want to do dust manipulation we want to draft a bustier and off shoulder we are all going to start from this so it's the reason why i said we should start from our basic bodies so once you have the knowledge of the basic bodies you'll be able to manipulate it into any design so i hope you enjoyed the video watch us for the second part that is the back bodies thank you